if you don't want to miss out any of our uploads all you have to do is just turn on the notification bell and anytime we upload a new video you're going to receive an alert on your phone from youtube assalamu alaikum <laughs> Now, a question I have for myself and yourselves. Wouldn't we like to be friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imagine if Allah says that man is my friend. Allahu Akbar. Imagine. Wouldn't you like to be a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Well, the answer is yes, indeed. We all want to be friends of Allah. So how to become a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran. Surah Yunus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verses and I'm sure a lot of us would know these verses by heart. Let's listen to them. لا تبديل لكلمات الله ذلك هو الفوز العظيم الله says behold indeed the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no need for them to fear nor grieve not at all and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this is verse number 62 of surah Yunus and the two verses after that they are the ones who believe and they have taqwa that's all you need two qualities to become a friend of Allah, you need to be a believer and you need to have taqwa. In order to be, be a believer, you need to have two main qualities. You need to worship Allah alone without associating partners with him. And you need to follow the traditions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we have these two qualities, we are believers. On top of that, we need to have taqwa. Taqwa meaning be conscious of Allah. Create a barrier between you and the fire of Allah by engaging in commands and abstaining from prohibitions that is called taqwa piety if you are a pious believer you are a friend of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah says such people for them there is good news glad tidings in this world as well as the next may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala befriend us and may he make us from those who are truly his friends